Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the rubber butt plate of the Mosin Nagant system. It's that part here that is sold in various sources online or in stores. It's really nice. The main drawback in our time is that the Mosin Nagant rifles come with a steel plate. That was back then working out really well and all in our days it's a bit uh, tough to shoot the rifles like this. Especially the Mosin Nagant has quite some recoil and for smaller people or lighter shooters it's a bit uh, tough to shoot. And also the buttstock is a bit on the short side for what we are used on a rifle here in USA. And in Switzerland, so the additional one inch length that adds on will help you a bit as well. So that part that we see here, it's made in China. It is below it quite likely similar to this and then got a rubber over mold. It's pretty well and soft. It's not bad, it's gonna gonna dampen the recoil pretty pretty good on that system. The rubber smells like it would be from an old tire from China. I don't know what kind of rubber they took, but uh, that that uh, is not too well. So I suggest as you get that, it's uh, in a sealed plastic foil. Leave it a bit outside so the the air hopefully goes away, the, the smell of that rubber after a while hopefully and then put it on to put it on it's really simple we have first to remove the, the butt plate on on uh, the rifle we have this screw on top and the other screw is in this area here and uh, once you do that loop them a bit up that that the uh, it's easier to screw the, the screws back in and then you simply do that. What you need is a bit of a flathead screwdriver in a size that fits. Because the screw on the boot plate is not too well protected here on the Russian models, uh, that screw here can be a bit damaged over the years. So uh, maybe you need to fix up the screw a bit with a Dremel or a Sui Double uh, tool to get it loose. Also maybe the, the screw got a bit rusted in, that's why I say put a bit of uh, silicone grease, lithium grease, whatever you have in the hole to uh, loop it up and then put the screw back in. So next time you need to change it, there you have no trouble on this. So also we see it's not going to fit 100%. We have here the part there is too short. Uh, I'm sure there was quite some variation in the stocks of the Mosin Nagant system in all the countries that it actually made them. And uh, it's better if it's a little bit too small instead of it hangs over the, the uh, wood. And as best as I see that is just a, a drop in part so the fitting would be never 100% uh, uh, perfect with the stock you have. So we have to live with it. The Mosin knock-on system is for using mainly anyhow in that configuration. If you have a, a really nice one then leave it with the steel plate on it and uh, shoot it like that and finish. But uh, this one is a Chinese version, a uh, shorter variant like the M44 and we see here it's already a bit dinged up from the Chinese they did not care by the Chinese military so it's it's a dinged up and one day I need to refinish the stock get some of the things out hopefully by heating it up and uh, put a new finish on it and then the the stock looks a bit uh, nicer and, and uh, I'm not going to fit the, the rubber plate completely, I'm going to leave it like it is. So the, the steel plate will go back on it as well. 
it's mainly that the recoil is a bit softer especially with that short Mosin Nagant variation that the uh, recoil is pretty tough so that much about the rubber part it's still available online for quite likely less than ten dollars so it's worth it in my opinion <laughs>